What's going on, everybody? Terrible night to have a curse, Peter, here. And this is the first episode of Castlevania Nocturne. I didn't really plan on doing a reaction series to these, but some people were asking if I could, and I'm going to give it my best shot. Um, just a asterisk next to that. YouTube is very finicky, and I'm going to do my best to make the video entertaining for you guys, as well as making YouTube happy. It's a awkward balance sometimes. We'll see what works, and if you guys don't like how I do it, or... I am so excited to start this show. I almost started it in the middle of the night last night, as soon as it dropped. It was 3 a.m. where I am when the show released on Netflix, and I just couldn't stay up that late. But here we are, fresh in the morning. Let's jump into this episode. What a cool effect. That's so neat looking. I love the muffled sounds too. Oh. The, oh my god, the water looks insane. This all looks beautiful. I thought I was supposed to fight evil. I thought that was the whole point. God, why do you have to argue about everything? I'm your mother. Stupid kid. I think you'll be safer in France. I don't see how. I'm so sorry, my darling. I have no choice. Don't listen to her, Victor. There's always a choice. Ooh. Cool. Julia Belmont. Finally. Ooh. I love that his eyes were the last thing to... to disappear. Do you know how many vampires Hunters had promised to slice me in two. One, two, three. Is it five? Is it five? All right, let's see what this show has. Let's see what it's got. Ooh, magic. We don't often get to see vampires do actual magic. Oh. Wow. Wow, the choreography there was nuts. This is already on another level of most of the fights in the original show. So she doesn't have the whip. All right. Just turns into mist. Or that. Vampires be different in France, I, I guess. I'm sorry, Victor. Oh. I'm so sorry. Ugh. The emotion they're showing on his face. Wow. It's so nice to see vampires do magic and stuff. It's not just monsters, it's actual spells and, and magic. Little boy Belmont. God, the eyes. They do so much work on the eyes. That burning, unendurable need for retribution. The serpent eyes. Because you see... It's so cool. Your mama took someone from me I loved. Just as much as you loved her. So, she had to die. 
I love how quiet that scene was. <laughs> I wonder if that's the whip. If so, why didn't it like blow him up? I'm I'm curious. What an effective opening. Holy hell. They actually took their time to just let the emotion sit with you rather than just go to the next thing. I love that it's the aesthetic. The natural order I don't I don't love that. By milking us dry with impossible rents and unpayable taxes. Well, it's your fault for being poor, of course. Send round their bully boys. And you all know what I mean by that. To hell with the natural order. No more kings, no more aristocrats. Yeah! Vive la revolution! Viva la revolution! Y'all picked the wrong angsty man. Oh, just like that. Stay together, don't run into the woods. I'm so excited to see Maria do. Yeah. So confident. The way they animate the whip is always it's so impressive. Ooh, got this thumb off. You can kill me, Richter Belmont, but it won't do you any good. Before the moon is full, the vampire messiah will come. The devourer of light who will eat the sun. You will suffer and die, along with everyone you love. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> Richter doesn't give a damn about your prophecies. Maria, if they're more scared of gossips than they are of vampires, maybe they're not, you know, revolutionary material. Fair what enough. What do you mean by the vampire messiah? Who knows? What a ridiculous concept. The devourer of light, it said. That sounds bad. Why come here? What's so special about here? Ham and beans. It's fair, fair. He's got his soldier monks. Strength, after all, in numbers. Soldiers and monks. Right. I am? We propose a temporary alliance. They help us see what's happening, and then they help us fight. What? Now? I thought you might want to argue me to death about it. Something I wrong with reputation. magic? I accept it because of the heroic and handsome thing. But teenage girls conjuring creatures from the other world? They start building piles of very <laughs> flammable wood. You talk like I do. Oh, another church person. But this was three in one night. Three in one night. So something's up. Something big. This guy's not Before suspicious died, whatsoever. Warned me, which was nice of it, that a vampire messiah is on its way. The devourer of light, apparently. <laughs> devourer of light. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What a foolish story. I'm not evil. Okay. He's not a pillar of this community. Before the revolution, he spent all his time at court and probably forgot we existed, even though his wealth is thanks to the pain and suffering of every peasant within 40 miles. Get it, girl? It breaks my heart to hear you like this, parroting the phrases of the godless mob. A godless No good will come of all this hatred. Don't do this, man. Don't do this religious crap, man. In for you, Victor Belmont. I know how much pain is in your soul. How much sadness <laughs> and loss. Vampires are gathering at the chateau, and maybe this is... The slight... There's really small animations in his face when they have close-ups. It's really cool. Don't do anything rash. The Marquis <laughs> won't thank her his <laughs> He's looking at her. <laughs> but, of course, if he has thrown his doors open to the undead, we can go together and burn them all to dust. Oh, what was this guy's name? He was in the revolutionary camp before. Ugh. I don't know if I should be 
romanced or afraid? What is it about you peasants out here that makes everything, even your blood, so unremittingly dull? It's probably all the, the booze and crappy food they drink and eat. You know, because they're poor. Oh, we're... Oh. I'm into it. That's a lot of people in one night. You said it yourself. People trust him. Is he asleep standing up? I'm sorry. He is. <laughs> what? what? Sorry. People I was asleep. Are really listening tonight. Here's a bellman. Pleasant. All right. He has a destiny. <laughs> I don't believe in destiny. You don't believe in anything. It's because they're evil, Richter. Vampires? Evil? Oh my god, are you sure? <laughs> He's such a bitch. I love him. I love him. I believe in you and your mother. I believe you're the kindest, most courageous people in the world. So I don't need to understand the things you believe in. I just need to stand by you. You're such a dick. Well, no time for insults. What? Why? And why are you here? No. Well, whatever they are, I'm sure they can die. Night creatures? I'm guessing they've never seen them before, though. So that's an interesting tidbit. Whoa, man spider. Get them, birds. Oh. Oh. Wait, what happened? Squelch. That's a good word. Squelch. Hey. Whoa. Cool. I've never seen anything like them. They were night creatures. Demons. Made from human corpses grafted onto souls from hell. Nobody's made any for centuries. Hmm. Who are you? Obviously you're a witch, but where did you come from? Whoever you are. Thank you. They don't just... Is that what they were doing with the bodies? What are you talking about? Who are Aww. you? And that would take a forge master. My name is Annette. And I'm Edouard. We're looking for someone called Belmont. That would be the ungrateful wanker. I don't suppose you know anything about a vampire messiah. That's why we're here. How fortunate. Ah, Orlocks. Good of you to meet me, Valbunk. But I can make my own way. Still, you can tell your messiah I'm here. I have arrived. Now the party can begin. All right, that was a really good opening episode. It set up everything we we needed to know and all of that. I am really, really impressed by the improvement in the animation that this is showing from the prior show. They clearly learned a lot or they just have more resources to invest into this. It is very noticeable in big ways as well as more subtle ways. The lighting is out of this world. Seeing the fireworks go off and the 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 glow of each like burst of firework sort of going over things. The small facial animations are such good touches 
and and they reveal a lot about the character just by looking at them, just by watching them be, and that's really impressive to do in animation. At least I'm picking up on it. Maybe I'm just imagining it, or maybe I'm crazy, but I really enjoy just the little flourishes that they have of smaller things. I'm already endeared to Richter and Maria. Uh, I hope we do get to see their... I assume we're probably going to see a bit more of how they met and stuff throughout the show. Uh, their dynamic is immediately endearing. I, I love both of them. I love hearing them talk to each other. And it's things like that that a lot of shows don't do. There's just a lot of banter. It A lot of shows will have characters talk to each other, but it's just... It's all plot. It, it It's all just, we need to go here to do this. Okay, to do this, we need to go over here and do this. And there's just not a lot of... That's not being a character. That's just being a function in in the in the story. And I'm happy to see that they just get just these moments to themselves to just be who they are. Orlox is really cool. He was a really cool villain setup. I love his design. I love how different we already are from how things work in the original show. You know, we're sort of used to seeing people do magic and stuff, but most of the time they are just fighting sort of random night creatures or just some some random heavy who we've never seen before, maybe got like a few seconds of screen time. And, and they do some cool powers and stuff, but Orlox really has a, a setup to him, and, and and that's something that is important. He 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 has a presence that we can feel and and appreciate when he's on screen. It's going to be hard for this show, I think, to match up to the the first, I guess, two seasons of the original show because you had Dracula front and center as the villain that you were seeing you were understanding his motivation you were feeling his emotions and everything that was going on with him it's really really difficult to top something like that um i don't know what direction the show's going to take with its villains we we haven't seen um uh elizabeth or elizabeth or whatever they're going to call her in this i like how quiet it can be it it, it it's it's not all action or all quips there's just a lot of moments to breathe which is important i think i really love it so far it's just one episode so it's kind of hard to judge too much uh i'm i'm probably just gonna jump right in, into the next one uh after i edit this out but thank you so much for watching i hope that this was fun for you uh this is m my first time doing something quite like this so we'll see how it works out. If you have any tips for me on how to edit these, maybe a bit more appropriate, whatever that is, I'm, I'm still learning this. So that would be wonderful. That's going to be it for me, though, in this. I will see you in the next episode of Castlevania Nocturne. Thank you for watching.